I'm so excited to be here because I love sharing my passion for nature and conservation. I am a photographer, as you know, and I like to use this as a medium to combine the nature and landscapes as I see them to take people to places they, that they might not otherwise have an opportunity to visit. And I think that we are all ambassadors for the environment, aren't we? I mean, we're in this, we're living on this planet, this shared home. It's the only one that we have. So we really are all in this together. It's kind of, just think of it like we're all roommates. And I love sharing what I see in, in this space. But this is not going to be a scientific talk. We've heard a little bit about the science. And we can basically turn on the TV 24-7 and get all the data. What I want to do is take you on a journey outside of your head and drop you down into a journey of the heart. And I want to take you on my own personal journey and share why I'm doing what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and really why is the most important thing, I think. My journey started about five years ago when my mother died, my long marriage ended, and my 17-year-old dog died, all within days of each other. And I found myself in a state of catatonic grief. And when I was on the way here to my mom, I watched the movie Wild on the plane, and it was, it was very serendipitous. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. Because when I went home, I wanted my own wild. And so I hired a guide, and I went into the Swiss Alps, and I went on a walk, and I walked, and I walked, and I saw the beauty of the Alps everywhere around me. It was majestic and amazing. But I also saw the devastation of climate change. I saw Glaciers receding and glaciers covered in blankets like you see here. This is the Rhone Glacier, partially covered in blankets to pr protect it, prevent it from melting so rapidly. But I had this epiphany, and it was like this blanket, this canvas, was a canvas of my life. It was a metaphor for my life. And it was as though I could paint it in the color of my dreams. And at that moment, I, I didn't know how it looked. I had no idea what anything looked like. But I just kept on walking. And sometimes I couldn't even see the trail through my tears. But when I got to the end of that walk, I realized that I was going to document what I was seeing. And I was going to show the world the effects of climate change from my lens. And so at the tender age of 55, I enrolled in full-time photography school in a language that is not my own. And I realized that there is life after 50. So I ended up in the Arctic because I was very inspired by what I saw in the Swiss Alps, and I wanted to see what was going on in the Arctic. And I arrived in early spring 2017, and I saw ice melting. I heard from the scientists that I was traveling with that ice was melting faster than it had been in previous years, and it was harder for the polar bears to find food. This polar bear that you see is eating on a whale that's been beached for two years, and he can still find remnants of, of something inside to eat. But I also had amazing experiences like this bear, this young male juvenile bear. He came right up to our boat. Now, we were 12 people on a very small class two icebreaker. We were in the ice, and he came walking up to our boat. They're very curious when they're young. And he stood up in his massive glory, and he put his paws on the bow of the boat. And I looked down, and I was so close I could almost smell his breath. But I felt as though he was pleading with me to save his habitat. It was beyond humbling. After spending time in the Arctic, I decided that I wanted to go to the other end of the world. I wanted to see what was happening in the polar regions. And so I went down to the land of Happy Feet. Now, I arrived in the early spring. And again, the scientists that I was with, was, they told me this is... The, the temperatures are record high temperatures. And for the last six years, the polar regions have been experiencing record high temperatures. And what that means is that the, the ice is melting faster, the water levels rising higher, and the, there, it's catastrophic for coastal communities around the world. And we are one of those communities. What I've experienced in this is it's so phenomenal, and I really want to share it, and I want to get this message out to people. Not only the devastation, I also want, I also want to talk about the beauty and, and the, the magic of these environments, like this colony here of penguins. There's 40 million penguins in the Antarctic, and this is a colony of over 1 million pairs. 
It was very noisy and very smelly. And everywhere I sat down, in amongst the ice and the penguin poo to try to take a picture, these little guys would try to crawl on me. I mean, they were very curious. They're super funny. I love penguins. But they just kept on trying to crawl on me. And I, I thought, you know, maybe I'm dressed in black and they think I'm a penguin. But it was mating season. <laughs> and I think they thought I was one of them. What I've learned on this journey is that when we have information overload, people shut down. We shut down as a species, and especially with issues like climate change. Studies show that 80% of our decision making is made not from the head, it's made from the heart, it's made emotionally. And so what I want to do with my photos is I want to, to, to show people nature. And I, I really believe that when we fall in love with nature, like really fall in love with nature, then, then we can do something to change it. You know, we all can be the change that we want to see in this world. We, we all make an impact. So let's make it a positive one. This journey has cracked open my heart and it's allowed me to create an entirely new life, aligning my passion and my purpose. And you remember the guy that took me on my journey at the beginning of the trip? Well, he is still guiding me on my journey, and he's helped me to align my passion and my purpose, and he's also found his way into my magnificent cracked open heart. Thank you so much.